No Way Home successfully confirms the most popular fan theory on the internet. Doctor Strange dyes his goatee. That's game-changing info right there. But really, Doctor Strange is one of the most important characters in the MCU, and his upcoming Multiverse of Madness sequel promises some big changes. So that's got me thinking, just how powerful is Doctor Strange? Is he really the best magic user in the MCU? Could others beat him using abilities that aren't magic-related? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. Here are all the characters who I think could beat Doctor Strange in a fight. Do you agree? Disagree? Let's find out right now. What do you know about the multiverse? Scarlet Witch has had one of the best character transformations in the MCU. Her introduction in a quick post credit scene saw her sitting in her cell floating some blocks around. Then her official big debut in the MCU was Age of Ultron, where it was never quite explained what her powers were. Like the whole joke was how she was described as weird and then the movie moved on. Her powers there mainly consisted of mind control and then floating things with her mind, which yeah is cool and all, but up against the Sorceress Supreme, come on. Early Wanda would stand no chance against Doctor Strange. It's probably because her backstory was different. It felt like Age of Ultron was still a little hesitant to introduce the mystical side of the MCU, and explained that Wanda and Pietro were basically science experiments who were granted powers by the Mind Stone. Then Wanda continued to grow more powerful in the MCU, with her showing off her potentially destructive side in Civil War, and then being one of the group's powerhouses in Endgame, almost single-handedly beating Thanos. Then WandaVision happened, where they retconned her origin a bit and basically embraced her true power. It turns out she wasn't just granted her abilities by the Mind Stone, but rather the Mind Stone unlocked the dormant power within her. The first MCU show highlighted how Wanda is one of the most powerful magic users in the universe, with her grief being so powerful that she rewrote a small section of reality and basically enslaved an entire town. And the cool thing, or potentially terrifying thing, is that her powers are still continuing to grow. She ended the series basically learning that she has the ability to perform chaos magic, which is a particularly devastating form of magic, and then secluded herself in the mountainside to basically sit all day and study the Darkhold in order to gain control of her seemingly uncontrollable power. It does feel like she's reaching a level where Doctor Strange can't stop her. I mean, sure, sling rings and mirror dimensions are cool, but how do you defeat someone who can rewrite reality itself? You can't just throw the cloak of levitation at her and hope everything turns out okay, Steven. So yes, I do believe that at this stage, Wanda can now beat Doctor Strange. But the big question is, with Wanda playing a huge role in the Multiverse of Madness, will they fight it out? It seems like they're on a collision course. Yes, the trailer that was shown as the post credit scene for No Way Home had Strange go to Wanda for help. But I have a feeling that as soon as Wanda wants to start tampering with everything in order to rescue her children, then Doctor Strange is going to have to tell her no. I mean, I certainly don't want to tell Wanda no, do you? Good luck with that, Strange. I think Strange is a great sorcerer, but next to Wanda, he looks like a second-rate street magician. Also, maybe the fight will happen in a different way than expected. The trailer seemingly revealed an evil Doctor Strange, and what if showed us what happens when evil Doctor Strange fights good Doctor Strange? Evil wins, so maybe the good version of Strange needs to bring in the big guns in order to stop his darker self. If that's what happens, that is. Maybe that glimpse of the darker Strange in the trailer is a red herring and Wanda is the true villain of the film? So many options and definitely pitting Wanda and Strange against each other would be probably the best magic fight imaginable. Fingers crossed. Okay, at first glance, it doesn't seem like Thor would stand a chance against Doctor Strange. In Thor Ragnarok, Doctor Strange easily incapacitated Loki, which would have ended the first Avengers much faster, by the way, and then continuously messed with the God of Thunder by keeping him disoriented and throwing him around like a ragdoll. And it was kind of unnecessary too, right? Sure, it's one of the funniest scenes in a movie with a staggering amount of funny scenes, but there was no reason Doctor Strange had to treat Thor like that, unless it was for the specific purpose of sending Thor a message. Maybe it was a dominant sort of thing where Strange was proving to Thor just how powerful he was after Thor condescendingly mentioned how Earth has wizards now. Whatever it was, if this encounter was a precursor to any sort of a brawl the two would have, then the first point obviously goes to Doctor Strange. But my question is, was it just because of home field advantage? It feels like the Sanctum Santorum was shifting around Thor rather than Strange casting spells. So maybe there are enchantments around Strange's home that allows him to manipulate the space easily without any effort. 
So what happens if they were out in the open? Well, I think the fight becomes much more interesting. Even though Thor is a goofy character now, he's still one of the strongest heroes in the entire universe. He's incredibly powerful, can pack a mean punch, and has finally realized that he doesn't necessarily need a weapon to harness his lightning ability. Yes, Doctor Strange will throw a lot of things at Thor, but the God of Thunder is durable and can take almost any hit and still get back up. Plus, if Thor has Stormbreaker, then I think that could deflect a lot of the magic attacks that Doctor Strange has. When Strange fought Thanos, the two were pretty evenly matched with the Infinity Stones allowing Thanos to combat Strange's spells. But then later, Stormbreaker was able to puncture through the Infinity Gauntlet's power to impale Thanos in his chest. Which means I can imagine a similar situation where Strange shoots a magic beam or whatever at Thor. Thor throws Stormbreaker at Strange, and it ends with Strange remembering fondly the days when all he had to worry about was two broken hands. So overall, I don't think Thor can outwit Doctor Strange, but he can take a lot of damage until he has a chance to land one blow, and for Thor, that's really all he needs in this situation. Ghost Rider needs to be in the MCU. Sure, I guess he technically already was for a bit when Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. introduced the Robbie Reyes version of the character, but it's pretty clear that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. should either be considered an alternate universe or like all a dream or something. So to make it easier, let's just agree that Ghost Rider hasn't appeared in the main MCU universe yet, and that's really a shame. Johnny Blaze would really shake things up and I think provide an excellent opponent for Doctor Strange. Like, for one, I think Doctor Strange is one of the only heroes who who could fight Ghost Rider without being flat out terrified. Imagine it's nighttime and you see a flaming motorcycle coming your way, ridden by a guy with a flaming skull head and flaming chains and just everything's on fire and you're telling me Spider-Man wouldn't freak out? That Thor wouldn't stop screaming like he did in Thor Ragnarok when he was about to meet the Grandmaster? No, anyone in their right mind would be put off by the spectacle. But Doctor Strange has seen some weird stuff in his time as Sorcerer Supreme, so I think he'd get over it rather quickly. But the question is obviously Obviously, who would win in that fight? Well, maybe it's just because I see Ghost Rider as this unstoppable force of hellfire that I think he'd beat Doctor Strange. Usually one of Doctor Strange's opening moves in a fight is to use the Cloak of Levitation, but I think if he tried that with Ghost Rider, it would be burned in an instant. Plus, I have to mention the Penance Stare, which is probably the single greatest attack any hero has. And I say hero rather loosely because this move confronts you with all your past sins, and then if they're bad enough, they'll cause you to burn up from the inside. Brutal. Doctor Strange is a huge hero, but he's definitely not without sin. I don't know how well Strange's magic could hold up against the terrifying might of the Spirit of Vengeance. When the mutants eventually cross over into the MCU, there's one in particular who feels like they could wipe the floor with Doctor Strange, and that's Jean Grey. Maybe if Jean Grey was her normal self, then Doctor Strange would have a little bit of a chance. Like, if she just had her telekinesis and her telepathy, then Doctor Strange would feel like it's just fighting an earlier version of Wanda. Yes, I don't think that's an easy win by any means, but I'm just saying it's possible. But everyone knows that Jean Grey packs devastating energy when she's empowered by the Phoenix Force. If that's the case, then it's game over for Doctor Strange. Any magical attack or strategy that Strange could attempt would be obliterated by the awesome might of the Phoenix Force. It's massive cosmic energy that I just don't feel Strange would have any defense for. The only thing that Doctor Strange can hope for in this situation is that since Fox screwed up the Phoenix Saga not once but twice, that Disney will not want to rush into mentioning the Phoenix Force anytime soon. Really, this list is made up of two types of characters who can beat Doctor Strange. The kind where his magic won't have that much of an effect on the person, and the kind where the hero is so strong that they can just power through any magic spell and get by on pure brute force. That's where Captain Marvel comes into play. We're told she's one of the strongest heroes in the MCU, and that's apparent by the way she destroys Thanos' big Sanctuary 2 ship in an instant. She also was one of the heroes who was arguably closest to beating Thanos even with the gauntlet all on her own during the final endgame battle. I just don't think a lot of Doctor Strange's tricks and magic would work on Captain Marvel. Oh, the Cloak of Levitation is trying to restrain her? She'd punch through it. Oh, Strange would use a portal to transport her to the other side of the world? Just wait two minutes and she'd be back. Her power seems almost limitless, so although Doctor Strange has those mystic protection spells all around him, I would bet on Captain Marvel's abilities more than Doctor Strange's in this circumstance. Sentry is almost so overpowered that it's not even fair. 
On one hand, he has been described as having the power of a million exploding suns and is strong enough to bench press a hundred tons without breaking a sweat. One flick from him and your insides would dissolve into jelly. And on top of that, you have superhuman speed, invulnerability, immortality, you know, basic Superman stuff. But it doesn't even stop there. He also can manipulate molecules, which means he can alter matter and energy, and I don't need to tell you why that makes him one of the most powerful heroes of all time. And do you think the Sorcerer Supreme could stop this? No, if Sentry wants you defeated, then you're going to be defeated. The only hope Strange would have would be to erase the Sentry from the world's memory like he did in the comic, but he kind of just did that to someone else. Speaking of... Yes, Spider-Man can defeat Doctor Strange. How do I know that? Because we literally just saw it happen. In Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange took Spider-Man to the Mirror Dimension, and although Strange literally had all the power here, it was Spider-Man who came out on top. Thanks, Matt. So although I don't think Spider-Man could beat Strange every time, we have proof in the MCU that it's possible. And sure, you could chalk it up to Strange not wanting to really hurt Spider-Man because he cared for him, but hey, it's still a victory. Strange is a tough opponent, so you have to use any trick you have up your sleeve. And for Spider-Man, that meant being too likable. Hmm, I say likable, but if he's so likable, then how come I can't remember his secret identity, huh? Answer me that. Maybe if the Eternals were separated, then Doctor Strange could beat them one-on-one, -on -one. but if they came together as a team, then even the Sorcerer Supreme couldn't stop them. Like, picture the battlefield, where on one side you have the incredible speedster Makari, the mind controller Druig, the tech builder and master of circles or something Fastos, the guy who shoots blasts out of his fingers Kingo, the fierce warrior Thena, and the matter transmutator Cersei, and then on the other side you have Doctor Strange. Do you really think Strange stands a chance here? I don't. I honestly don't think Strange could even beat one of these Eternals on his own. Well, maybe Kingo. Like, the only chance Strange has to beat all of the Eternals is to open up a giant portal under their feet that leads directly to the sun. But even the combination of Druig using his mind control while Makari pummels him with speed I think would be enough to clench a victory. What do you think? I don't think Vision has been given a fair shake in the MCU. His biggest showcase in the film saw him getting injured at the start of Infinity War and spending the whole movie damaged. But his abilities are flat out amazing and I think could easily beat Doctor Strange. He's not only basically indestructible with his vibranium body and has the dangerous combo of flight and super strength, but he also has powerful energy blasts and the ability to phase through objects. That phasing power really hinders all sorts of magic that Doctor Strange can use against him. If Strange tries any of the attacks that he used on Titan against Thanos, against Vision instead, then Vision could easily just phase right through them. And then Vision is fast enough and strong enough to fly right up to Doctor Strange and either punch him so hard that he levels down to Mr. Strange, or cuts him in half like he did with Thanos in the What If episode. Alright, I know I've been sticking to Marvel heroes for this list, but I thought it would be fun to include an entry about what DC characters can beat Doctor Strange. Like, you know what I think would be an awesome magic fight? If Doctor Strange went up against Doctor Fate. Hey, why not, right? We're in an era where both the DCEU and the MCU are going to play around with the multiverse, so why can't these two ever clash on the big screen? And although I think this is a pretty fair fight, I give Doctor Fate the edge because of the helmet of Naboo. Maybe if Doctor Strange still had the Eye of Agamotto on his side, then that would help him out here, but otherwise, I think Doctor Fate takes it. Other DC characters who Doctor Strange would lose to would definitely be the Spectre and possibly even Zatanna. But hey, on the bright side, I do think Strange would beat John Constantine. And what about other non-magic DC characters? Superman is Superman after all, but he's always shown a weakness against magic. But I would like to see heroes like Green Lantern or The Flash go up against a pure magic user. Okay, one more fun group entry. Instead of Marvel heroes who could beat Strange, do you think any of the Marvel villains that we've seen or haven't seen yet could beat Doctor Strange? Like, I don't really count Strange beating Dormammu as he didn't really defeat him but rather struck an agreement with him. And now that Doctor Strange no longer has the Time Stone, he's just gotta hope that Dormammu doesn't want to come back or else I don't think anything could stop him. And then, yes, obviously the heavy hitters like Galactus would easily beat Doctor Strange, but again, what about the villains we've already seen? seen in the MCU. I know Strange beat Loki rather easily in Thor Ragnarok, but if Loki was really focused on Strange, would it be a more even fight? Would Ego the Living Planet beat Strange? Would Wenwu aka the real Mandarin? Those are all fights I want to see now. 
Wong is the new Sorcerer Supreme. Hey, that's what happens when the previous Sorcerer Supreme blips away for five years. Wong has always been one of the best supporting characters in the MCU, and Phase 4 is truly giving him the chance to shine a bit more. He's using Abomination to earn some extra cash, he's leading the charge in examining where Shang-Chi's Ten Rings came from, and even has time for karaoke. He's so busy now that he doesn't have time when teenagers come to the Sanctum Santorum asking to help with a PR crisis. Wong is the best, and I think he's so good that he would beat Doctor Strange in a fight. Yes, Strange has shown that his magical ability probably exceeds Wong, even though Wong has been training for a lot longer, but Wong knows exactly what type of man Strange is now. He could use Strange's arrogance and pride against him in the fight and come out on top. At least, that's my opinion. Never bet against Wong.